of the most difficult issues that we have to deal with with people undergoing fertility treatment like IVF is that they don't get pregnant each time we do that. The tendency is to change things around, but the real issue of course is that most eggs don't work well enough to make babies. How does that work? Well, when the ovary starts making eggs, there's a group of eggs there. And by the time those eggs come up ready for ovulation, only one's released. In between that time, all of these eggs start to grow. But what we see is the body has a really good way of choosing the egg that's going to ovulate. And that is that that egg, which is the most functional and the most competent egg, produces more hormones to make itself grow and produces hormones to make the other ones go away. So in other words, the body every month is making the best egg from the group of eggs that are there. Now, one of the things that's really important to us is the best egg, even though it's being produced, doesn't make babies all the time. And we know that because we can look around us. We know people are having intercourse a lot and we also know that people don't get pregnant every time that happens. There must be something going on that's stopping that. And that is the quality of the egg, either in the software system, which are the genes, or in the factory, which is what we call the cytoplasm. If there's a problem in those areas, that egg isn't good enough to make a baby. So we call it the right egg. What's the right egg? The right egg is a best egg that is capable of getting the outcome we want, which is not a pregnancy, it's actually a baby. So the rate limiting step for people who are coming through IVF is how often they are making an egg that's good enough to make a baby. We're always getting the best egg, but how often is that best egg the right egg? That changes depending on how old the woman is. Women in their early 20s are probably making a right egg every one, two or three months, which is why it's so easy to get pregnant when women are in their early 20s. By, shall we say, 35, women are probably only making an egg once every three to four months that's good enough to make a baby. And unfortunately, by 40 and women in their early 40s, they're probably again only making an egg once a year on average that's good enough to make a baby. There are some ramifications in regard to this. Those ramifications are if, you know, someone's 35, we're gonna give you a dice. And if you roll a one or a two, then you get a baby. If you roll a three, four, five or six, then that egg isn't good enough to make a baby. And we've got a decision either to roll the dice again or decide that we're not gonna do it anymore. By 40, of course, that is a 12-sided dice. And again, if they throw a one, they get a baby, but if they throw a two through 12, then they don't. When people go to start an IVF treatment cycle, it would be fantastic to know at that point whether or not there was a right egg there. Unfortunately, IVF technology worldwide doesn't provide that ability. And therein lies the conundrum that we're dealing with. Clearly, if someone's only making an egg every three or four months on average, then they will need on average three or four egg collections just to get that egg. If a woman's only making an egg once a year, then on average they're going to need 10 or 12 egg collections to get that egg. Obviously, what we're hoping for and what our patients are hoping for is that they randomly throw that one or two early on. And we, 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 we love it when that happens. But the reality is that those statistics are going to apply for everyone. And so for each person who gets their desired outcome, baby, with a one or a two, there's someone who's going to be needing a five, six, seven or eight. We would love to get around that. We would love to be able to know before we start, whether the best egg is going to be a right egg, the problem is that that's not the case. Now, in fact, if a woman produces one of these eggs, she'll get what she wants. The problem with IVF is that we get this most of the time. 
getting more eggs isn't going to get a second best egg or a third best egg. And pretty much if the best egg isn't good enough to make a baby, then none of the rest are either.